G'day YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a video that I should have done ages ago and that I'm um, just reading a few things online and where I'm going today for lunch. I thought I might as well start doing these videos because um, it's very uh, strange to most people when I start talking about it. Um, <clears throat> the video is about my diet and how um, well poor it is. How Typically it would be seen as a poor diet. Um, basically I eat meat only and I, by meat only I mean no fruit or vegetables whatsoever. I've never done so in my entire life. I might have occasionally one or two slices of carrot if it's there. Um, I eat some broccoli like one piece maybe every three months I might have a piece of broccoli. Um, generally I just, I've just always been a bit of a fussy eater um, and I've never just never eaten fruit, fruit and vegetables. I mean, I literally eat meat and bread, bacon. Um, I eat a lot of fat, a lot of fatty foods. I eat chips, I eat fish, um, pizza. Um, I eat a lot of fast food and I drink alcohol. Okay, I have, I have a, what would typically be seen as a terrible, terrible diet in, in most circles. Um, and I've always been told from my family that I would basically either die of scurvy or a heart attack or whatever. Um, now you can see this picture here, this is my typical lunch meal or what I would like to eat every day for lunch. I don't always do that, but generally if I go through McDonald's or Burger King or whatever, I have two burgers for lunch every time and it's always the biggest burger I can get, generally speaking. Um, and I have the fries and a large Coke as well. That's, that's my typical lunch uh, menu. Also got cheese on it. I get it without salad. Every meal I order, I order without salad. If there's salad there, I don't eat it. Um, occasionally I force myself to eat a carrot, like a slice, couple of slices of carrot or a piece of broccoli out of just um, sort of like I think I should every now and then, but um, I know I don't do it, you know, every few months I might eat a slice, but it's not even, it doesn't even register basically. Um, now, being that my family told me years ago I was going to get scurvy and probably die, um, probably I was probably about 26. I thought I better, I'm sorry, 27 probably when I got the test done. I thought I better go see a doctor and um, get all get a full checkup done. And I, I was sitting in his office and um, I said, look, I want to get full blood work done, everything, stool samples, P test, the whole work works. Um, and he, he looked at me. He said, well, well, why would you want to do that? You don't need to do that. And I said, well, I, this is my diet. I eat meat. I, I eat nothing but. Um, but crap basically, or what most people will consider crap. And um, he said, oh no, you don't need to do any tests. I can tell by your eye pigmentation, your skin color, your, your weight, your muscle tone. He said, I can see by all of that, you, you're perfectly healthy. And I said, well, look, I want to know for my own peace of mind that I am perfectly healthy. So can you please do all the tests? And he, did, he took blood, he did everything right. And uh, it took a couple of weeks to get back. And really strange thing happened. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm healthy. I mean, this is a current picture of me now. I'm not overweight. Um, now I got the test back and basically every vitamin and mineral, uh, fat levels, everything was tested. I had three pages of, of, um, figures and basically of my body, every, every single thing. And really, what was really strange to me is I didn't have a single vitamin or mineral deficiency. My fat was, my fat levels were perfect. Um, everything was absolutely spot on and, and they were, there was like ranges. It was like maybe zero to 30. And 30 might have been bad and zero was well, obviously the other end of the scale. And I was always 14 or 16. I was basically absolutely perfect with every single vitamin and mineral um, in my diet. Um, so basically what I thought I would do, because I think this is an interesting topic and I, I really honestly believe that um, people are being misled with what is actually good to put in their bodies and what isn't. Um, people think fruit and vegetables is actually good for them and I suppose it is but if you look at how many pesticides and things are sprayed on those fruit and vegetables and they even recommend that you wash them before you eat them which no one ever does um, I'm not so sure that fruit and vegetables are really that good for you with considering what we do to them and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get these tests done every three to six months it's just whenever I um, get them done and then I'll put a video up and I'll actually show my results um, online publicly so you can all see. Um, I'll just give you my stats today. Um, now I work as a tradesman, which as you know, requires a lot of physical work. Um, now apparently that's key. That's probably more important than diet is the actual exercise. That's what the doctor told me. He actually said diet wasn't that important and it was actually the physical exercise that was the most important. So being that I do physical activity, that is a big 
uh, plus for me. I've also got good genes um, on both sides of my family, fairly good genes. <clears throat> there is a bit of heart disease on my mother's side, uh, but that hasn't affected me um, as yet and it doesn't appear to me my, my um, arteries are good. Um, so my BMI is basically 27. Now, it's a, it, I, for years I was sort of 24, 25, but I've put on a bit of muscle since doing the trade work. So I'm going to say that there's probably more muscle there than, say, your average office worker. Um, so that would sort of bump it up a bit, I think. Now, I drink alcohol as well. I drink a reasonable amount of alcohol, like a Friday, Saturday night. I might polish off a half a bottle of vodka. <clears throat> I'm not really careful with anything I put in my body. It's kind of like um, I just eat whenever I'm hungry. I eat till I'm full. Um, I eat as much as I can possibly eat, but I don't snack. That's something I don't do. I generally don't snack. Um, so just uh, some other things that are interesting, like um, when I say I don't eat fruit and vegetables, these are some things that I've never actually eaten. So I can tell whether I don't like a food from 10 feet away, and that might seem strange to some people, but this is just how I am. So I've never eaten a banana. I've never ever in my life put a banana in my body. I've never eaten a pineapple, I've never eaten a mango, I've never eaten an avocado, I've never eaten, a, eaten capsicum, blueberry. I could probably add 20 fruit and vegetables that are quite common to the rest of you on there. What I have eaten is I've taken a, bite, a couple of bites out of an apple in my whole life. I've had um, orange juice, uh, not oranges. I've had, um, I've never had an uh, avocado, I think I said that one. Um, I, I eat like a slice, a couple of slices of carrots. Sometimes I eat, I, when I was a kid, I used to sometimes eat a carrot, but I, it's just generally not fun to eat, so I don't eat it. Um, I take a bite out of some celery, but I've not really ate celery. Basically, when I order food, I order it without salad. I order burgers without salad, so I eat just, just meat, cheese, uh, bun, sauce, and lots of fat, usually, as you can see from the picture here. Um, that, that's from Longboard's Cafe and Service. It's a massive, it's called a Fat Bastard Burger. Um, Anyway, so basically, I'm going to do the uh, test again. I'll probably, whenever I get down to the doctor again, I'll, I'll get the printout. I wish I had the old one to show you because I've, I've looked in the filing cabinet and I can't find the paperwork from it. So I'm going to go and get that redone again, and then I'll post a video with the results online. Um, interesting thing happened a few years ago. There was a university study in America somewhere. I, I found it online. It's, uh, he's basically studying people like me and people that eat meat-only diets, and he's found that... Basically, they're really healthy and they don't put on weight and they're in really great shape and stuff like that. So I emailed him and I said, well, this has been my diet my whole life and I eat worse than anyone, according to you know what most people would say is a good or bad diet. And, and he basically uh, told me that he's getting emails from people like me all the time. Um, mine was particularly interesting because I, I'd never actually never eaten this stuff. Like some of these things I've never even put in my body. And he found that very unusual. And he actually, as far as I know, he actually had a lecture in his university on my diet. Um, I didn't get back to him, but he emailed me and he got my permission. And he said, you mind if I take a class on your diet and explain to people um, how you've lived and how you work and stuff like that? And I said, yeah, sure, that's no problem. I think it's interesting. Uh, but, you know, long story short, I think that the, what people are being told, like the food pyramid and stuff like that, I think it's, I think it's totally misleading. And I think we've evolved a lot um, since, you know, um, years and years ago, and I mean, our, fam our parents didn't really watch what they ate. I mean, they ate a lot of fatty foods and a lot of full cream milk and stuff like that, and they didn't have can cancer and diabetes going through the roof. And we've, since we've had this big health push and the fluoride in the water, all that sort of stuff, I mean, people's health is deteriorating. We're getting record diabetes and obesity and all that sort of stuff, and it's not affecting me at all. Um, you know, so basically, I just wanted to do that video. I think it's a really interesting topic um, because I've, I've been people have stopped telling me I'm going to die from scurvy because it's obvious that I'm not at this point. Um, you know, I'm in just about perfect physical condition. I could probably do a little bit more exercise after work, but I don't need to. Um, anyway, we'll put your comments and questions below. Um, hit subscribe and like if you could, and that'd help me out. And I'll try to answer any questions you've got. Um, I'll put those results up when I get them, so it might be a few weeks away. I'll go to the doctor and actually have these tests done, and I'll put them up. But um, this photo was two weeks ago at Longboards in Surfers, and you can see I, I'm not exactly what you would call looking after myself there. So 